Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, everybody. As we count down the final weeks of winter, it is time to think spring, and I have a solution for you. Just head to Norfolk Botanical Garden, where something is always in bloom. Today, we inspect the wonderful world of orchids that are now on display. That story is yours in this week's edition of Wreck on the Road. <laughs> From dancing ladies to ladies' slippers, Norfolk Botanical Garden has a great display, their winter orchid display, on view right now, and it's all right here under one roof. This is Brian O'Neill, who is director of uh, horticulture here at Norfolk Botanical Garden. Tell me a little bit about the wonder of orchids. Well, orchids are fascinating plants. They have a long history, especially a, hist a history of people thinking that they were very difficult to grow because they came from far off lands, you know, back in the 1700s, things that when the people were start starting to get around the world and discover new, new areas. Um, but they, they do come from exotic lands. They also grow right in our own forests here in, the, in, in this country. Um, and in our state, and um, they're not hard to grow for the most part. So many different varieties, thousands of species, and so colorful. It has a little something for everybody. Exactly, yes, that's right. Uh, so many different uh, colors and hybrids out there, and the plant uh, uh, hybridizers are doing wonders with these plants year after year after year. I was uh, crazy about orchids 20 years or so ago, and I can't believe the colors and varieties that are out there now. Okay, Brian, so I'm looking around and I'm seeing so many of the orchids are hanging from pots up on poles or in trees. Why is that? That's because in nature, Chris, a lot of plant, uh, these orchids are epiphytes, which means that they grow on trees in nature and they are growing on the trees to be able to get the sunlight that they need and air movement. And in the home, it's really important that you can provide some little bit of air movement to keep the, the, the wind moving around them. Uh, they'll enjoy that the most. They don't want a cold draft or anything or the blast of heat coming out of the, the heating system, but a little bit of air movement really, really helps. Moisture, and not only that, but I'm looking at the, uh, the root systems of these orchids is, is amazing. They're out of the pots and then they're exposed. Yes, Why exactly. is that? That's again so they can get the air that they need. They really hate being confined in a pot with uh, like ordinary soil. So you'd never want to repot a plant, uh, an orchid, in ordinary garden soil. They like bark, really chunky mixtures that add a lot of air to the mix. Orchid flowers are not meant for human um, enjoyment, but we do get that. Um, they're meant for um, propagation. And an orchid uh, grows high in the trees, and bats and moths and butterflies and hummingbirds and things of that sort will go to the flower to get nectar from the flower. So as they go into the flower, there are actually sometimes guides with these spots that actually direct the uh, bee or the moth or bird to the center of the plant where the nectar is. And then they will stick their uh, tongues or bills or whatever into the plant. And as they're going in to get the nectar, what usually happens is that the pollen grains will stick to the head of either the hummingbird or bee or whatever it is. And then as the bee goes to the next flower, they will then be able to uh, stick their head in and pollinate the plant by putting that little piece of pollen onto the female portion of the plant, and then the plant can create seeds, which propagates the plant. They certainly look delicate, but they're anything but. Exactly. They, they have a very strong constitution. You can mistreat them, and uh, they will come back and bloom for you year after year. There is a, a Tidewater Orchid Society, which people might be interested in joining or learning more about orchids. And there's also the Arthur and Phyllis Kaplan Orchid Conservatory at Old Dominion University, where you can see orchids in addition to here at Norfolk Botanical Garden. If you'd like to check out more on the orchids, you can come to Norfolk Botanical Garden. Brian, thank you for joining us today on the Hampton Road Show. Thank you, Chris. Once again, a big thank you to Brian Randall. The uh, winter orchid, Brian O'Neill that is, the winter orchid display at Norfolk Botanical Garden is open through March 30th. Also, the Tidewater Orchid Society show and sale is Friday, March 28th through Sunday, March 30th.